exactly how I feel. You got... <laughs> Tell you, you got to laugh, don't we, guys? I don't know who it was. It was, uh, this is Captain Boone to you, coming to you live from the Twin Cities area at an undisclosed, uh, exact location due to, uh, well, I don't know. What the hell? We got to run. <laughs> Today's Happy Hump Day. Um, today's show is, uh, <laughs> It's entitled Lazy Susan and the Meds. And I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't think of any kind of a title. Does it really matter? I mean, I don't <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> um, Lazy Susan and the Meds simply uh, because it's getting so ridiculous with all these meds that we take now and stuff. And I look at me and the wife's uh, medicine cabinet that used to be a medicine cabinet. Now it's a medicine locker. Uh, that soon they turn into like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, <laughs> a, a garage. I don't know what to say. The meds keep growing. Um, and that's not really good. We got, we got to get, uh, like the old say, we got to get back to nature more, you know? But I, I don't know what they're waiting on Mary Jane for, but Mary Jane is really getting, of course, I understand COVID is, is kind of putting a lot of other things on the back burner. I, I understand that. Uh, but anyway, Lazy Susan and the Meds is because, uh, yeah, I think me and the wife are going to get one. If we can find one, I'll probably have to go to my all-time store of Goodwill and get one of those, uh, and get a, uh, Lazy Susan if I can find one. You remember those guys? They used to put it in the center of the table, like a centerpiece when you're, when you're entertaining. Yeah, right. Uh, you know, and, and you spin it around. I think Tough Boy had come out with them in the late 50s, early 60s. And it was called Lazy Susan because all you had to do was just spin the thing around and it had its different, you know, its uh, orders in there and sauces and stuff and, you know, yeah, and chip, whatever you want to put in. Anyway, that's that's how bad it's kind of getting, so I'm just going to get a Lazy Susan and put all our meds in these little compartments on Lazy Susan. Yeah, maybe me and Mom will play uh, musical meds or something like that. Oh boy, I hope you guys are having a good day, uh, in spite of the news, it's, uh, yeah, it, it, it's hard to keep upbeat, and it's hard to keep, uh, but I'll tell you one thing, I told you this before, boy, if it wasn't for a sense of humor, and it wasn't for, and if it wasn't for great, good music we had, I'm right now, I don't know, it'd be awful tough trying to get through this stuff, you gotta get your, you, you gotta keep your humor going, uh, because I'll tell you, that's, a good sense of humor is a very, very powerful weapon against depression and against, uh, well, just in general, what's going on in this world now. It's, you know, but try to keep your sense of humor, boomers, will ya? Okay, uh, we're going to have, um, what the heck is this button? Oh, that's a, oh, I'm sorry, that's a belch button. Anyways, um, I'm going to, I'm going to be playing some, um, um, I got some impressions from an old buddy of mine, uh, to me personally, he's one of the best impressions, impressionists, uh, out there, uh, but he's not out there, that's a sad thing, uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to be playing 25, and you're going to have to bear with me, this, this is not really, it doesn't move real fast. Uh, but it gives you an idea of the talent of this uh, of this man, and uh, I just wish we still uh, could get together and do a few things. 
but anyways, uh, as of right now, that's not in the cards. But anyways, happy hump day! You gotta have a happy hump day, right guys? You betcha. Yeah, thank you, thank you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna play this for you now. What it is, is 25, and I'm gonna try to speed it up as I can, of uh, Mr. Joey Holmes, who is also a boomer, and he was part of one of the boomer boys. We were the boomer boys. Uh, we had to drop the boys because we kind of split up. Uh, but I kept uh, the boomer because uh, that's what I do. I am a boomer. And uh, I hope most of you people listening out there are boomers uh, and stuff like that. So anyways, and i got to give a special shout out to a lot of these people that are coming, uh, are listening. It's unbelievable. Uh, Dublin, Ireland. Of course, they're all drunk anyway, but I mean... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, who else we have? Well, Stillwater, Minneapolis, Dallas, uh, who else is? Oh, P Gay Perry, Perry France, yes, merci. Uh, merci beaucoup. Uh, who else was out there? Oh, Australia, Sydney, Melbourne, and I don't think I got Perth yet. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Garden Grove, California, thank you. Thank you very much. Lehigh Acres, Florida. Thank you, Lehigh. Uh, who else was out there? Um, well, just a you know, and I'll tell you, some of these other countries I get, I, I, I finally got, uh, I got a listener from Poland. I wish I am Polish. And uh, yeah, there you go. I can't remember that. I can't even pronounce the town. But anyway, it's a town. Hell, it was a, uh, it was a good sized city. Anyway, uh, uh, thank you, Poland. Thank you. All right, we're going to be playing some of this stuff now. All right, guys? Huh? What do you think? You want to hear some damn good impressions? All right. Uh, like I said, it, it, it's, it doesn't go real fast. It's kind of slow, and I'm going to try to speed it up. Um, it's, there is no dialogue to it. There is no story uh, to it. There is no, you know, anything like that. It's just a solid... Uh, 24 or 25 of impressions that you guys can uh, relate to. I'm telling you, uh, he even does cartoon characters. It's simply amazing, uh, and I believe in him so much. That's why I'm still I'm still playing uh, Joey stuff because uh, I don't know. I listen to it and it just it puts a smile on my face every time I hear some of these. I cr I crack up, especially the especially the cartoon uh, voices. All right, so we're going to pop this thing in, guys, right? We're going to get rid of Laurel and Hardy. I mean, not get rid of them, but we'll take their CD out. We're going to pop in Mr. Joey Holmes and his 24 or 25 impressions. Anyway, uh, give or take one. And like I said, bear with me because I, you know, and, I, and this CD is pretty old, so I'm hoping that we can uh, get through this without any major hang-ups, you know what I'm saying? All right, here you go, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Pretty good this time. <laughs> yeah, I gotta tell you, you know what I'm saying? You better. I don't mean to bother you. I was wondering if uh, you could tell me what President Reagan is. Well, I'm right here, and uh, what was your name again, sir? Uh, this is Detective Colombo with the LAPD. Uh, apparently, you forgot that you were no longer president anymore, and uh, I'm here to take you in because uh, you're not supposed to be in the White House. Well, oh. Oh, Nancy. So you mean to tell me, Dee, that, that you were the one that bought the bank? I, I, I just can't believe it. Well, 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 Dee, you do. Well, I was there, and, and, and the bank was there. It, well, it, it just seemed like thing to do. Well, 
Grosser Godwin, you contemptuous old man, you. To whom do you think you're speaking? Yeah. Hey, how you doing? I tell you, we want the, the group here, we want uh, two pitches of beer. We want one every seven minutes until somebody passes out. And then after that, you want one every five minutes. Thank you. Thank you very much.